How's it going, everyone? It's Jacob from LangChain. Evaluating your app's performance on a range of inputs, commonly referred to as evals, are a vital part of bringing LLM apps from prototype to production. That's why today I'm excited to show off a new open source package that makes getting started with this process faster and easier than ever. Open evals. We're launching it centered around a specific type of evaluator called an LLM as a judge. This is where you have a capable model, grade the outputs of your app or some component of it, assigning it a score which can be a pass fail or something more granular. We've seen this as a common starting point for many different teams. And for these, open evals include some pre-built prompts that makes them completely and transparently customizable so that you can use whatever criteria you'd like while judging and it allows you to customize the outputted scores to be either discrete values or a continuous range. It also handles parsing out the LLM's results and the structured output that the model requires. There's also convenient parameters for a few shot examples, which are example inputs, outputs, and scores that give the LLM judge more clarity on what your preferences are. It also supports a wide variety of models as the judge, including OpenAI's, Anthropic's, Google's, open source ones through Olama and more through LangChain. Or if you prefer, you can bring your own OpenAI client and it's available in both Python and JavaScript. Now, let's see it in action. Okay, so here we have a simple example LLM app that's just a chatbot pretending to be a pirate. And let's say you've been working hard on this, you're ready to bring it to production for users who are nautical enthusiasts who really want to talk to a pirate and have that experience. So they could ask you funny questions like, what is your name? And the app would respond with something like, I've been on far and wide as patchy. And you know, it sort of like satisfies what the user would expect when talking to a pirate. It's a dialect, character, etc. So this is great. Uh, and you can see the app itself is actually quite simple. It's just a single model call to OpenAI with a simple system prompt saying, you're a pirate named Apache, respond in a certain way, pass these messages in from the front end into the client, and then return the content. So this is great, but let's say you know, you're worried or you, know, you have some reports that users are trying to get the app to break character. And one way they might do this is asking, what model are you? And you can see that it actually does leak that it's a model known as ChatGPT, a product of the illustrious OpenAI. And you know this is true, but not really what we want our persona pirate chatbot to be saying. We want it to be taking on, uh, denying this and saying that it's a pirate named Patchy and that you're really talking to a genuine pirate. So the fix for this you might think is pretty simple. It's just, let's just update the system prompt. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple. But you know, if you had many people working on a team here or you, know, you wanted to make many changes to this prompt at once, you wouldn't want any regression. You wouldn't want to remove a key bit of prompt or like some other part of your app that was maybe blocking the app from responding and breaking character. So a great way to do this is where open evals comes in. And a great way to do this is to write an eval that checks for this case. So I've got a uh, using a vtest-like runner to run my evals. Uh, you just need to know that it uh, can basically run this test case, passes this input and reference output into my case here, and I can pass that into my app and then my evaluator as well later on. I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video if you're interested in learning more about this runner. But yeah, I've just got a simple command set up here that just runs vtest with this config and looks for anything that ends in .eval.ts, and we'll run that as an eval. eval. So if I run this um, as is, it's just going to log the response from my app. Let's quit the server and do yarn run eval. And you can see it's just going to go through, and it's going to spit out the response. Um, this time it says something that's slightly different, but it thinks it's GPT-5 and you know was made by the fine folk at OpenAI, which Again, we don't want in this case. So yeah, how do we basically write a test that, or like write an eval that will stop the, uh, that will flag when this app breaks character for this input? And yeah, we can import the 
uh, create LLM as judge method from open evals here. And the reason we're, you know, it's nice to use an LLM as judge here is, you know, while this particular response may contain GPT 3.5 and various keywords we could use to sort of detect whether the LLM is breaking character. Let's say we were to switch models behind the scenes or, you know, use some other, like, yeah, something like Anthropic, then our check would be pretty brittle and it would fail in many cases. There might be other subtle outputs where we want to detect that the LLM is breaking character. So an LLM is perfect for this sort of messy uh, generative output. And we're going to initialize our evaluator like this. Const evaluator equals create LLM as judge. We're going to use this correctness prompt that you can see is just an F string here. And the OpenAI's O3 mini model. And cursor's doing a great job with this, but um, yeah. Uh, oh, it was. OK, so it forgot the outputs. Our evaluator is going to take in the reference outputs from, the, from up here. It's going to take the messages from here, and then it's going to take the actual output from the LLM here. And then we're going to log the result, and we're also going to add an expect result score to be true, because that's what we want. We want our evaluator to pass, and we add the set of port here from vtest. This is uh, going to basically fail on the first attempt, because, or we expect it to fail on the first attempt, because as it currently stands, our app is not very good at keeping in character. Let's run the eval again. And it's going to take a little bit longer this time because it is making that second LLM call that sort of judges whether um, our app is breaking character. And you can see that it did indeed break character. <laughs> this time I thought it was GPT-3. And our evaluator returned a score false and our expect assertion failed here. Okay. and. This is pretty easy to fix, like I said. In this particular case, I can just add a line to my system prompt. Never break character. Uh, respond indignantly if someone asks if you are an AI model. And deny, let's say, too. Cool. So with this change, uh, let's go back to our eval script and run it again. going to go through, get the initial model response. And you can see this time there's no mention of OpenAI or ChatGPT anywhere in this response. And our evaluator, this time scores true and our eval passes. It doesn't break anything. Uh, sorry, it doesn't break any character. So yeah, last thing to emphasize here uh, is this correctness prompt is really just an F string. So I could, for example, log it. And I could very easily adapt it for different criteria or different things that I want to measure or care about. So I'm just running this this time one more time to show you what that looks like. It's just this uh, sort of longer like rubric and asking to take on the persona of an expert data labeler. So I could add it as a new correctness prompt up here. Oops, there we go. And I could tweak this rubric to say, let's say, you know, more heavily emphasize never breaks character or penalize different things when scoring and you know you could like add instructions and other reminders and then everything just gets formatted into the prompt here so you have your inputs outputs and then reference outputs and for javascript these are stringified awesome so again all this is open source and i'll have a link to the open evals repo in the video description we're going to add a lot more do a lot more work on this in the next couple months and you know, you can see, expect to see more pre for different use cases beyond just LLM as a judge. And yeah, if you have also other, um, you know, evaluators or prompts that you find useful, we would love contrib contributions as well and pull requests. So yeah, let us know what you think in the comments here or find us on uh, X at Lightchain AI. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts. Thanks so much for listening and watching. And yeah, hopefully this makes it easier for you to start evaluating your LLM apps. And yeah, I uh, hope you give it a try. Take care. Bye-bye.